We're now approximately three months from a resection of the deep perineal nerve. This is a nerve that comes down the leg and into the first web space here. And you can see that on this picture. This nerve travels down the leg and into the first and second web space. This nerve we felt had been likely entrapped in a uh, scar from a previous operation here. And that pain had been going on for how long? For years. Um, they tried to do fusions. Um, and do metatarsal removal, the uh, scar tissue, and it worked for a little while, but then it started up again. And um, that caused me to lose very much sleep at night. I could not sleep, especially when my foot would relax. Mm -hmm. um, it caused the nerve to overact, and um, it kept me up at night. And how has it been since we took that nerve out? I can sleep. I sleep like a baby and I sleep all night, thank God. Um, at times it was just really rough not being able to sleep and function during the day. Mm -hmm. um, most of my, my situations would happen at night okay. when I tried to sleep. And that's improved now? Oh my gosh, yeah. 100. What? 100%. Are you on any medications for pain? Nothing. Were you nothing. on medications before surgery? I was um, to try to get to sleep, to try to get the nerve to, to calm down. Um, I had like, I, my symptoms were trying to, it felt like I needed to crack my foot or my toes. Um, that gnawing feeling you get when you have to try to crack a knuckle and it would not go away. That's what would happen to me all night and I'd have to walk around and pace around the house like all night. And that's no longer there? Nope. All right. Would you consider this successful? Huh. Yes, all very right. much so. Thank you very much. You're welcome.